Hello everyone, this is Jace Lejeune from Gridiron Football and I'm here with the Cecilia Bulldogs, even though it might look like uh, our bowl game uh, with the jerseys on, but we're actually uh, with one of the top contenders uh, for a state championship this year in the Bulldogs. Y'all were just this close of winning a state championship last year uh, against Opelousas, but now y'all even hungrier to come back and try to win a state championship. But first, before we even get into that, Pretty easy question. Give me your name, position, and the year you're graduating high school. Uh, Rodden Hardy, 76, nose guard, 2025. Christian Menard, class of 2025, left tackle, 77. Ellis Stewart, number eight, wide receiver, class of 2025. All right, guys. Um, so for you all to get a chance to you know, get to know the audience a little bit more, tell me what your biggest strengths on the football field are. My biggest dreams? Strengths. Oh, strengths. Mm -hmm. Just being fast, just don't hesitate, no hesitation, just go at it, get at it, just mm -hmm. yeah. quick, quick on your feet. Yep. What about you? Biggest strengths on the football field? Um, my speed, my physicalness, and just like my IQ I have to the game. I feel like my stress on the field is like being able to get up whenever I feel like it and the ball come out where I catch it. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is a really good group. And uh, I know last year, like I just said, just short of a state championship last year. So how hungry has been the message of getting back, trying to get back to the state championship, and this time trying to finish the job? Just every morning I wake up and it's like, man, I want that ring. I just want that ring on my finger. On my graduation ring, then right next to it, I want that, that dome ring, you know? Absolutely. That's how I feel. Yep. Can you repeat the question? Yes, yeah, so the question is, uh, Repeating for a state, uh, trying to get back to the state championship game, right? So, looking forward to this season, um, just how hungry are you to get back to the state championship and finish the job this time? I mean, there's a deep feeling inside me that, like, I feel like we could go back, but we got to do the work that it takes to go back. Like, no taking, no plays off. Just, like, everybody against us, so, I mean, we just got to prove a point. And yeah, back to like saying what he just said, like it's not gonna be easy how we think it is. You know, we gotta put the work in. You know, we can't just go back just because we want to. You gotta put the work in on the field all season. And then whenever the season comes, just do what we know we gotta do. Get back there. And this time, win it. I mean, that's obviously uh, your team goals, right? Is to win the state championship. But individually, uh, what are your goals? You're all seniors, right? So what are your goals for this final go around for this upcoming season? Just get better at everything, kind of get my speed up. That's the number one thing for me personally. I just want to kind of fine tune that technique a little bit and just get better overall. Just being a leader, speaking more, um, fixing my weaknesses, like what I struggle with on the field, and just making me a better player. Just like we said, like just getting better at the things that we need to get better at. You know? Like just being a leader, being vocal, keeping the team up. And, and team on the schedule, I kind of have an idea of what y'all going with this, but team on the schedule that y'all looking for and the plan the most that y'all got circled on your calendar this year. It's kind of obvious. I think yeah. everybody kind of knows it. Mm -hmm. Yep. We want to get back at it again and just drive that point through that we're the better team and we're back at it again and we just – we want to beat them, just straight up. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the obvious answer, but uh, yeah, talk about that. And a chance to go, uh, another chance in the season to get at them again. I mean, even though, like, we lost to them, I feel like we could beat them. It's just the mentality we got to have that we can't be stopped. Mm -hmm. I just feel like, yeah, like everybody says, Appaloosa, you know. People be people doubting us and study saying like they better than us, but we obviously the better team, but we just gotta go out there and prove that we're the better team. And I just talk, you know, we gotta actually prove it on the field. We're gonna see that we did. Well, a lot of people forget y'all actually won the, the first game uh, against Opelousa. So, I mean, y'all definitely can do that. So, that should be a really entertaining game uh, to watch. Now, uh, really, tell us something good about each other, right? Uh, what What's really good about these two guys right here? Ellis, anything that goes near him, he catches. I mean, dude has, I think he has sticky tack on his hand. Oh, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Then Menard, that's the best lineman I know. Mm -hmm. His IQ in the field, man, 
like everything I try and go against, like I try and rip, nope. Swim, nope. I hit his hands, nope. He just is, he's quick on his feet. Knows what he's doing. Okay, what do you have to say about these two guys right here? I mean, Rodney, I feel like anybody that's in front of him, he's killing him, putting him on their back. He's strong. I mean, he's quick, he has the IQ. I feel like he's unstoppable. Ellis, I like, I like him one-on-one -on -one with anybody. Mm -hmm. like, I know him, so like, I feel like if they, nobody could get in his head because he killing every time. Yeah, I feel like these one of the two best linemen we got on the team. Like Rylan, nobody could keep stay in front of him. They try to keep him from getting to the quarterback, the running back, whoever got the ball, he get there every time. And Christian, I feel like nobody could get past him, no edge, no nothing. I feel like he hold his ground every play. Okay, we're going to end things with uh, two quick uh, questions. Uh, the second to last question is, what is your pitch uh, to college coaches? Why they should go and recruit you? Um, I never give up. I'm always there. I take coaching very well. And, I mean, I just, I'll do anything you ask me to. I put my knowledge to the game, so, like, whatever they tell me, I do. I'm a good leader on and off the field. I'm good in the classroom because, you know, you can't just be a player on the field. You got to be a player off. You know? What you, Ellis? I feel like I should be should recruiting because like, I'm a mentality, mentality player and everything. I take coaching very well. And I still got a lot to, lot to prove, lot to uh, take in and stuff like that. And, yeah. All right, we're going to end things on a fun note, right? We're trying to loosen up a little bit, you know, have fun with this last question. But y'all know the uh, College Football 25 video game is out, right? So uh, when you're picking your player, you know, for Road to Glory, what team are you choosing and why? For me, it's UL. UL is mm -hmm. right there. It's right next to us. It's just every day when I was younger, I'd always go to a UL game. It'd be my favorite, favorite college to go to. It's local. Right there, and it's just, it's just nice to see them do mm -hmm. well. I pick Oregon. Okay. Because, like, the jerseys is just like Cecilia. Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like our team is just like Oregon. So, like, I'm basically rebuilding Cecilia in my week. Okay. I like that answer. I like that. And I, now you think about it, it does kind of look like uh, Oregon a little bit. What about you, Ellis? I choose Bama just because, like, I've been a Bama fan because, you know, the, like, the players that Bama got, like, the quarterback, the old line, stuff like that, are my me of our team. You know, we got a good quarterback like they do, we got receivers like they do. Yeah, Alabama just remind me of Cecilia. Yeah, I'll just be really careful around here, especially when you're in Baton Rouge, you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough, a tough topic to go uh, go against. But, but guys, we appreciate y'all coming, uh, you know, representing us a little bit with the jerseys. I like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, looking forward to the Bulldogs. Hopefully y'all get back to the Superdome and this time finish the deal, right? Um, so we'll keep up with the Bulldogs all season long. Uh, these players are also going to be competing for, you know, player of the week, you know, uh, maybe a chance. I know a couple of guys last year when our Gridiron football player of the week, you know, Diesel and Corey, uh, Corey and guys like that. But hope you all compete for that, and we're looking forward to see what we uh, what's coming up for the Bulldogs, for all of our content. Make sure to go to gridironfootballusa.com.